In the previous lesson, we walked through some of the wizards that are built into Oracle Application Express, and we saw the types of things that they do for you. We tried to emphasize the fact that you will not get production quality applications just by using the wizards alone, but the wizards will get you 75, 85, sometimes even 95% of the way to a production quality application. What we're going to do now is see the types of things that a typical Apex developer has to do after they run the wizards, after the code has been generated, after the pages and regions are already out there. What are the typical things that an Apex developer has to do to get their application the final couple of yards to the finish line to a production quality application? So having said that, let's hop into a web browser. And let's take a look at this page that we were working on here. And we have the form that was based on the movie, the form that was based on the order, and we have the chart here at the bottom. And we mentioned earlier, if you're logged in as a developer, and you can see I'm logged in here as Paul, I get this menu along the bottom of the screen that allows me to go in and edit the application around. Let's go all the way back to the top of the hierarchy and take a look at the application level. So you can see here are all of the components, all of the pages that make up my application. And again, you're not limited to looking at them like this. If you prefer, you can look at them as icons. You can look at them in list view, look at them like this, information on all the different pages that are out there, whatever you're comfortable with. Any type of selection that you make here, the functionality is going to be the same across all of the different views. We have the ability to look in our report here. And what we'll probably do on a regular basis is that we'll be going back into the individual pages and we'll be looking at the different regions and making changes to those different regions. So let's go back into the form on the movie and we run this. And under create edit order, I had originally said as I was walking through the previous section in this lesson when we were looking at the different wizards that I was going to leave a field on here that I really didn't want to see, the sales rep ID. I don't really want to see this on the form. It would have been real easy for me when I was walking through the wizard to have specified, don't display this on the form, but I didn't do that. I left it this way on purpose so I can show you how you can go back and say, you know what? I really don't want to see sales rep ID. That doesn't really belong on this form. It shouldn't be displayed to the end user. How would you actually go about doing something like that? And this is the typical thing that people will come back to you after you generate a page, after you generate a form, after you generate a region, after you generate an application. People will come back to you and say, you know what, I really don't like this here. I don't like the way the font looks. I want to have this as a list of values. I want to have, you know, a different color scheme. I want to change this around. I don't want this to say create edit order. I want it to say something different. I don't want the button to be over here on the top right. I want it to be somewhere else. So these are the types of things after you get the basic functionality provided to you by the wizards. Let's say in this particular example, somebody came to you and said, sales rep ID, don't want it there on the page, doesn't belong there. How would we get rid of it? Well, we obviously have to edit the page. So as a developer, we have these links on the bottom. I'm going to say edit page three. We know that it's part of the region. So we have the first region there, which is the form on the movie. We have the next region here, which is the create edit order. And then we have the third region here, which has the chart and the graph. The sales rep ID, we don't want to see that on the page. So I got a feeling I could either go to items and say, hmm, you know, I want to edit something there, or I can right click on the individual item itself and say, I want to edit that guy. That looks like something that I probably want to do right there. Let's go into sales rep ID. So I'm going to right click on that. And I'm going to select edit. Here you can see everything that's associated with that particular field, where it is on the page, the actual name, how it's displayed, the sequence number. All of the sequences for all of the items are automatically created with an increment of 10. So the first item on the page will have a sequence of 10. The second one will have 20. The next one will have 30. So you can go in there and move these different ones around. You could put something in between this one and the previous field on the page by making a sequence of 65. What region is it in? What template is it using? Does it use a grid layout? the actual label. And we probably don't want to have this as a label, sales rep ID. Even if we were displaying this field, we'd probably want to go in there and change that. The vertical alignment. You can have a format mask if this was a date field and you can format it to a certain date or a social security number or something like that. You can change this to be a mandatory field. Even if it's not defined that way in the database, you can make it a required field 
inside your application. You can change the element pieces around where it's coming from in the source. It's coming from a database column. You can have a default value. There's so many things. But in this particular one, you know what? We don't want to display it. We don't want it there at all. So I can go through and I can say, you know what? I just want to delete this guy, this P3 sales rep ID. He's not part of the form anymore. He won't show up anymore. But what happens if I need that in the future? One of the real easy things to do instead of deleting this field is just change the display to hidden. It's still there as part of my page. It's still embedded there kind of in the code. But when I run it again, it just won't be displayed. It'll just never be displayed on the particular page. So I say apply changes. I can run this page again. It looks exactly the way it looks before. I have movie on top. I got my chart here on the bottom. But now under create edit order, you can see I don't have sales rep ID. It's not displayed there. That's the typical type of thing that you would probably do after the wizards are complete. 